guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames in this video we're gonna talk about kourtney kardashian barker wanting to break the toxic cycle and move away from her family for good now guys we know that these media outlets they do lie and they do lie a lot but this report right here is one that i'm believing like none other because of past comments that Courtney has made. And I'm talking about like, you know, a few years ago on Keeping Up With The Kardashian. And when Courtney made those comments, it seems as though her family, they were taken a bit back because they didn't want her to say that on camera. And because E had the creative control, they could not take that out of the clip, right? Now, just to take you guys back just a little for a few seconds, please bear with me here, okay? Because I want you all to understand what Courtney is saying based on what she recently said, right? So just to add some context, Courtney saying that after she has given birth to her son, she wants to break away from her family for good as it relates to her family business. She's not saying she wants to break away from them as a family. She just want to cut all business ties with them because she's genuinely tired of the toxic circle with Kim Kardashian. She knows that even though she has resolved everything with Kim now, there's going to always be something that comes up at a later date. And she's just tired of that you know being trapped in that repeated cycle and she wants it all to end completely because she wants to focus on her newborn and she wants to focus on the growth and development of her immediate family right and she hasn't been able to do that because every time there is a feud it's resolved there's always another feud and she is saying that you know the business aspects of it is what is causing the feud not the family aspects right now going back just a few years ago do you guys remember right at that fight right when courtney said to kim our therapist is recommended that, recommending that we film less because the longer we film is the more we fight, the more we are, you know, torn apart as a family. Before all of this fame and attention, everything between us used to be so good, so jolly. But if you notice, since all the money, we have become ugly, evil, and dark towards each other. And it's not making Courtney okay. As a matter of fact, it is making her sick, right? And when Courtney said that on camera, it's as though they didn't want all of that to be out there. So coming to today now, when Courtney is saying, you know what? She wants to end the toxic cycle with Kim, even though they have currently resolved their differences. She just wants to break the cycle for good because she knows that even though the entire situation with her, Kim, and the Dolce and Gabbana wedding has been resolved and they are good now, if they continue doing business, something else is going to happen and she will be feuding with Kim and members of the family will be forced to pick a side because normally they do pick a side and when they pick that side and she can see where they're normally on Kim's side and it's not doing good for her and it's really draining it's really toxic and really hard to deal with. And she's saying that, you know, looking back at the past years, she wants to cherish the memories from the past years because even the memories, you know, most recently, it's not so good. It's been mostly heavy, mostly toxic. Now, now, fast forward to what is happening immediately. I believe that there's something else going on that many people are not paying attention to. And we are getting like glimpses and pieces of it, right? 
and that is Kim consistently preying on Courtney's vulnerability. She keeps gaslighting her sister, right? If you guys saw that video that I did yesterday, I said Kim, Kylie, and Chloe has this thing in common. When they are with a guy, they will go out on a limb. They will risk their lives to prove that they are number one to that guy and no other woman is important to him like they are. Kim is this woman in this case because Travis made a pass at Kim back in the day. Kim keeps using that as leverage over her sister, Courtney. You may think that, oh, it is past. It is past for Travis. It is past for Courtney. But like hell, it ain't past for Kim. So what I believe Kim is there doing, right? Because there have been whispers around the corner here and there saying that, you know, Kim believes Travis is using again. So let's give you a play that I think is potentially happening and if you notice, in the most recent um, season of Keeping Up with the Kardashian, Kim is convinced that Courtney is not happy in her marriage because Kim asks Courtney, like, are you really happy though, right? And Kim is making it seems as though there's something that her Kim knows that not even Courtney knows about her husband. And this is what I'm talking about, that behavior with Kim, Chloe, and Kylie, always wanting to be the top girl for that guy. So because, you know, Travis had flirted with Kim in the past, what Kim is trying to say to Courtney, I believe, is that, you know what, Courtney, Travis is acting all weird, and I know that guy. It will always be using Remember that I knew him before you, and when I knew that guy, he was using. And there are things that that guy has told me that he would never dare tell, not even his wife. Now, I'm not saying that because you're my sister or I'm trying to hurt your feelings, because whoever he had married to, I know he wouldn't have told them. But because of the bond and the, and the connection that we've built during that moment, you know, because you know that I'm a good talker and people love to talk to me because that's the narcissist playbook, guys. Kim is a narcissist. And that's a play that narcissists use on everyone because guess what? They believe that they are uniquely special to everyone and they will make you think that you have no idea who the man or woman is that you marry and no one knows that man or woman like they do. So I believe that when Kim is saying to Courtney, you know, are you truly happy? Are you? It is because Kim has been gaslighting her sister, Courtney, letting Courtney know that it seems as though Travis might be using. It seems as though he's hiding things from you. And she is leaving that to fester in Courtney's spirit. And Kim is not winning. So Kim is coming back. Do you know how you plant that chip in someone and you can trigger that chip at any time? So Kim tried to plant that emotion on Courtney that her husband is hiding things from her. So Kim knows that if she's, if she's successful with planting such emotion on her sister, she can always go back to, you know, irritate that nerve again to make her sister uneasy and unsettled. Courtney has figured out that Kim is doing this and Courtney knows that even though things are good for now, doesn't mean that it's going to always be good later. So it is best that I break the cycle. We can meet for family events, you know, because when we meet for family events, it will be a lot of us. We'll be just focused on being silly, no serious talk, no business talk, and we can all coexist. So this is why Courtney wants to break the tie from her family 
when it comes to business because Courtney's saying she's tired of the toxic cycle with Kim. And this is a report that I believe like none other and all the reasons that I've outlined to you guys is why I believe it like none other other but i want to know if you guys are on board with what i've just shared with you all so please be sure to go ahead leave a comment let me know what are your thoughts show your girl some love stay safe stay blessed see you all later bye guys